Hi guys, welcome to Tech Fox. Thanks for connecting with us. Today in this video, we are going to see the exact method to or create a tools website using Code Canyon or by buying a PHP script in Code Canyon. So we are going to see the exact steps to do so. So now let's jump into it. So as the first step, now I have opened my web browser. So now I'm going to simply uh, paste a URL. So I have left this URL in the description box below. So you guys can simply click and you guys can uh, come to this landing page. So this is an uh, URL canyon.net. So we are going to use this PHP script or we are going to build this tools website. Uh, in this tutorial so you can see the preview of this website and this is turbo website reviewer uh, php script and this is uh, around 35 dollars so you guys can simply click on add to cart and uh, you can simply proceed to this link uh, and i have placed the link in the description box below so you, you guys can check out this link and you guys can simply click on add to cart and uh, in order to add to cart you need an account so simply click on go to checkout and uh, here it will say me to create an account so in order to create an account in envato market you need to first of all enter first name last name email address password and username and many more and you can simply click on create account and you can enter the billing details and you can enter the uh, payment method so the easiest step is to proceed with the uh, google so you can simply click on continue with google to uh, continue with google so if you already have an account you can simply click on sign in and you can enter your username and the password and you can simply click on sign in so now i have bought this php script which is the turbo website reviewer so this script i have bought it so now i'm going to simply proceed to my website hosting program so I'm going to use a free web hosting uh, uh, in this tutorial. So I'm going to simply click on sign in. And uh, this 00webhost.com, by the way, is a free um, web hosting program powered by Hostinger. So you guys also can uh, use this if you are testing uh, a tool's website. So now I'm going to simply click on it's not my first. Uh, first uh, experience so it says me to enter my project's name or the website name so now i'm going to enter as turbo website reviewer and now they are uh, they are saying to generate a password so i'm going to generate it and i'm going to simply click on or i'm going to copy this password first of all and i'm going to click on submit okay now i have successfully created my project for the website so it says me choose your web of mass creation whether it is wordpress or website builder or the upload your site so now i'm going to simply click on upload your site and i'm going to click on select and this will redirect me to my file manager of my hosting program so first of all i need to upload my php script in this uh, place now I'm gonna up okay now I'm gonna simply proceed to my websites uh, my PC's desktop section and this is the PHP script which I have downloaded uh, now I'm gonna simply uh, right click on the script and I'm gonna simply uh, click on show more options and I'm gonna simply click on extract files and I'm gonna simply click on ok okay now i have successfully extracted the php script so now i'm going to open this and i'm going to simply again open this one and uh, this is my uh, php scripts and uh, this is the uploading section so i need to upload this php or uh, uh, this section of this script so how to upload it simply again proceed 
to the file manager and simply click on this button upload files and it will save me files will be uploaded so it says me to select my files so now i'm going to simply proceed to my desktop and i'm going to select my folder and i'm going to simply click on upload or oh, i'm going to simply click on this folder so in order to upload i need to first of all archive uh, this fold folder so now i'm going to archive it and i'm going to select this to zip and i'm going to simply click on ok ok uh, this will make me uh, make my upload folder to a zip file so it's in the background okay now my zip uh, folder is ready so now i'm going to simply tap on this one and i'm going to simply click on open so it's 22 mb so now i'm going to simply click on upload and uh, my zip folder is uploading in the process okay now as you guys can see my upload.zip folder is successfully uploaded so now i'm going to simply select this folder and i'm going to simply uh, click on move and uh, simply click on change and uh, now simply select this one and i'm going to simply click on move to move this to public underscore html or public html so now i'm going to simply delete this ht access folder and i'm going to simply click on delete and i'm going to simply tap on this upload.zip and i'm going to simply unzip this folder so how to unzip okay now i have successfully extracted this file so now i'm going to open this one and i'm going to select all of these files in this folder and i'm going to simply click on move and i'm going to simply click on change and i'm going to simply select this place and i'm going to simply click on select uh, this and i'm going to simply click on move so this will move all my uh, this uh, all my files so now i'm going to delete this folder which is my upload folder so i'm going to delete it and now i'm going to simply proceed to my website which is turbo website reviewer zero zero web cost.com now I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna proceed to my website so I can simply uh, proceed to zero zero web cost and simply uh, click on this file so now I'm gonna simply proceed to my website I'm gonna simply search for it Turbo website review one and uh, this is my website so I'm gonna proceed to this website and this says me install.php file exists and okay now we have successfully installed a PHP file and uh, this says me all are available and all are writable so now I'm gonna simply click on continue and this will save me to enter my database connection to a uh, uh, and uh, first of all we need to create a database uh, account so for a database so now i'm going to create a database for my website now i'm going to simply proceed to 00 web hop and i'm going to sign in and uh, now i'm going to simply click on this manage website and i'm going to simply click on tools and I'm going to simply proceed to my database menu so if you are using a cost, uh, web hosting plan you can simply search for database in uh, cPanel and you can get this uh, landing page and this is my my databases and I'm going to simply click on new database and I'm going to simply enter the database name as turbo and uh, the database username is Turbo uh, dash user. So this is me. The uh, database username and name must differ. So I'm going to simply enter as admin dash user. So I'm going to simply enter as admin. And I need to randomize the password 
and uh, I need to copy this password. So I'm going to copy this one. So I can simply suggest a new password, and uh, I can copy this password here, and I can click on create the database. Okay, now as you guys can see, my database is creating. Now we have successfully created our database and now let's proceed to the installation page of our PHP script. So it asked me the host name. So the host name is local host. So I'm going to enter it as local host. And uh, this asked me the database name. So now I'm going to copy this database name and I'm going to paste this over here. And this will ask me the database username. So now I'm going to simply copy this database username and I'm going to paste this here and here uh, this will ask me the database password so now I'm enter the database okay now I have entered the uh, all the details so now I need to enter the license verification so where you can find the license code you can simply proceed to this link and uh, this will say me where in the Envato so this is in the download section so you guys can found find out uh, your license code in uh, the in the uh, download section so now I'm going to paste my license code and I'm going to simply click on submit okay now we have successfully submitted our PHP code so now we need to enter our admin details so now I'm going to enter the admin name as admin and I'm going to enter the email address for my admin so how to enter it simply enter as admin at uh, turbo website so you can enter any type of email so now i'm gonna copy this email and i need to enter and password for this one so i'm gonna simply uh, enter this password and i'm gonna simply click on submit and uh, this is me my admin ID is not valid so first of all now I'm gonna enter a valid email that's it now I have entered my admin email admin name and password so now I'm gonna simply click on submit and uh, okay you guys can see my installation is successfully completed and it says me install completed so now I'm gonna simply click on index page uh, okay now as you guys can see my URL is this URL so I can simply proceed to this website in new tab to show you guys and I have successfully created my tools website so now I'm gonna analyze one of my website which is wanalyzer.com so I'm gonna copy this website URL and I'm gonna paste this over here and uh, you guys can simply click on review and uh, as I'm using uh, a free hosting program uh, this will show show me like this so you guys can see this uh, does not allow me to proceed further because uh, my website is hosted on a free uh, tool so now I'm going to simply again paste this one and I'm going to click on review okay now as you guys can see this is analyzing apple.com so this uh, website is successfully working and I can place Google AdSense ads in this uh, area where it shows me as banner and uh, you guys also can follow these steps and create your own tools website by using code canyon scripts so that's it for this video please like share and subscribe TechFox YouTube channel for more video tutorials like this. See you in the next one.